the biggest planet in the solar system and the smallest star in the known universe. Today, they're on a collision course and Earth might not survive this. Meet the star with a catchy name, EBLM J0555-57 AB. Its gravity is 300 times that of Earth's, and it's about the size of our Saturn. EBLM J0555-57 AB is a red dwarf and the smallest star we've ever discovered. Usually, it resides 600 light years away from us in its own double star system. But not today. Today, it broke the cosmic speed limit and rushed toward our solar system to meet with the biggest gas giant in it, Jupiter. Let me just tell you, Jupiter is huge. It's about 11 times larger than Earth. It's even bigger than the red dwarf star coming its way, but because it's mostly made of hydrogen, it's not massive enough to be a star. To start converting all its hydrogen into helium and turn into a red dwarf, Jupiter would need to be at least 80 times more massive than it is today. So what would happen if these two gas giants collided? Well, the real collision is about to go down in the greatest mobile game of all time, Raid Shadow Legends. It's time to explore the world of Teleria with over 600 champions ready to fight on your mobile device. My favorite faction, the High Elves. Nothing stands between me and victory when I have Ellen Arl as my champion. These elves have survived civil war and hordes of orcs only to come back stronger than ever. They helped build civilization and now they might take it back. And there's a ton going on in Raid this month. I'm talking a complete overhaul of the Champion Vault, five brand new champions, and a huge Summer Splash series of events. Grab this skin of my favorite dwarf, Trunda. Oh, and one more thing. Make sure you get in now if you want to be part of it. Hey, this is the time to explore the vast world of Raid. Yeah, that's what I love about this game. There's so much to see and customize. Yeah, the best RPG around isn't on some overpriced console. It's available right now on your phone. Click on the link in the description below or scan my QR code here and you'll get unique bonuses worth $30. Oh, and check this out. A free epic champion, Aina, 200,000 in silver, one energy refill, one XP boost, and one ancient shard. Yeah, you can summon champions now and get all this loot when you click below. And all this treasure will be waiting for you here. You know, champions will clash in raid, but these celestial titans are ready to collide now. Before the interstellar red dwarf could even make it to Jupiter, it would have to pass through the Oort Cloud. The Oort Cloud is a collection of icy comets and other bodies on the edge of our solar system. As the smallest star in the known universe was passing through this icy debris, it would wreak big havoc in our planetary neighborhood. Yeah, it would send icy comets our way, and some of them would start hitting Earth. We'd have to think of a way to protect our planet from this comet shower. But time would not be on our side, because the smallest star in the universe would keep moving toward Jupiter. Our stellar guest might be smaller in size than Jupiter, but it sure would be more massive. EBLM J0555-57 AB's gravitational pull would start to tug on the planet. And don't forget that we'd now have a second star in our solar system. Things would start getting hot. All the heat from the red dwarf, plus its strong gravity, would make Jupiter grow in size. The gas giant's atmosphere would puff up as all the gases were heating up and expanding. Some of Jupiter's atmosphere would start to escape into space and toward the stellar intruder. Eventually, all the runaway Jupiter gases would form a hot ring around EBLM J0555-57 AB. It would look as if we had a black hole in the solar system, only it would be really bright. The red dwarf star would keep slowly ripping Jupiter apart. 
Now, it would be eating whole chunks of our gas giant. For a moment, Jupiter would take the shape of an American football, but soon enough, the star would engulf it entirely. Sorry, Jupiter, you didn't stand a chance. But now we'd be in a real pickle. Jupiter would no longer exist in the solar system, and now we'd have an alien red dwarf star surrounded by a ring of hot gases. Our solar system wouldn't be the same without Jupiter. This gas giant wasn't here for a cool view. Jupiter's gravity usually attracts asteroids and comets that make it into our planetary neighborhood. It gobbles them up before they make it further into the solar system. With no Jupiter to protect us from all the space rocks, Earth would be getting bombarded by all kinds of debris. Icy comets, asteroids, you name it. Every day we'd be hit by about 170 meteors, comets, and asteroids. That's 10 times more than what's making it to our planet right now. Life here would sure get more dangerous. Who knows how long before one really big asteroid would come and destroy all life on our planet. But things would get even worse. Having another star in our solar system would disrupt the orbits of all the planets it passed, including Earth's. Of course, it would take EBLMJ0555-57 AB millions of years to rampage all the way to our sun, so you might stay alive long enough to witness the epic slow-motion chaos. Unless the Red Dwarf sent another planet on a collision course with us. Yeah, that would end things much, much quicker. All the planetary collisions in the solar system would create a rippling effect. The planetary orbits would get disrupted even more as time passed. Earth could even get knocked out of its orbit entirely. This would send you and everything else on the planet on a rogue trip across the universe. And without the sun to give us warmth, the Earth would turn into a frigid, lifeless rock very soon. If you somehow survived up to this point, you wouldn't have very long now. Now, of all the things that could enter our solar system, the smallest star in the universe might not be the worst. How about a black hole? Well, that's a story for another What If.